Hey everyone, hey it's Andrew here with Sony, Central Regional Product Specialist for Sony Custom Installation. Today I want to take you through a really fast walkthrough of how to set up Oversee on Sony XR televisions. Now if you're not aware of, uh, of Oversee compatibility, we added Oversee to uh, the Sony XR TVs starting with the K series, so 2022K models, 2023L series, and moving forward we have uh, fully integrated with Oversee for remote monitoring of the display. So before we can set up Oversee, we do need to make a couple of quick changes here on the TV. So let's jump right into the TV menu and I'll show you how to make those changes. Okay, so to set up for Oversee, we do need to apply a pre-shared key to the television. Now I can do this in the consumer menus, but really the fastest and easiest way is to go into the custom install dashboard. If you've not been to the custom install dashboard before, it's a great place to do those one-stop settings. To get there, we do have to enter a secret passcode though. That passcode is input, mute, mute, and hold. By holding mute that second time, it will then give you access to the CI dashboard. Here we can make a whole lot of changes, and if you want more information on this, please go back and watch the video that we've, we've shot for CI dashboard. But for now, we're going to set up a pre-shared key. Now, your pre-shared key doesn't have to be anything long or elaborate. It can be pretty simple. Uh, we do recommend six digits uh, from uh, for the oversee. So I'm just going to do real easy, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I've got a preset key programmed in. I can click OK and we are done. That uh, preset uh, pre-shared key is now saved. So now we can jump over to the Oversee portal. OK, so we plugged in that pre-shared key into our XR television. Now I can jump over to the Oversee portal on my desktop and complete the setup. So there's two ways again to do this. We can either add the device manually by the Mac ID, but, uh, but why I found it, uh, it, sh it uh, scanned actually really quick. And before I could even do that, my uh, TV was already populated right here in the, uh, the system. So I can go and click on that, uh, that TV and you see here, this is where it's gonna ask us for that pre-shared key. So I can type that in one, two, three, four, five, six, and we are all set. Uh, so let's let that refresh and it should pop up here in the corner that the uh, pre-shared key has been updated. Right there is the uh, pre-shared key updated. Uh, so now when this refreshes, we will see all of the details about this display. All right, so it tells me here uh, that uh, the TV is now unmuted. Uh, power saving is off. This is important because actually I get this call from time to time. It's like, why is my TV so dark? Well, somebody maybe accidentally uh, turned on the power saving modes on the TV. Uh, we can see that the TV is on and we can see the current volume level. Uh, so we can make sure that uh, we can, uh, we're not muted and we're in an appropriate listening level. I can then power on or power off the TV from here, mute on, mute off, and I can even terminate apps uh, right here from the portal. Uh, but I do also want to make sure that I rename this TV as well. So I can go right here to edit the name and we can click that over here and I can now call this my Office 42A90K and we'll save that and Oversee Setup is all done. Okay, so what do we think of that? Real fast, real easy, program the TV, the, uh, the pre-shared key, and then set it up in Oversee, rename the device, and now we have monitoring and control capability there through the Oversee portal. So hopefully this will help you out in getting better uh, integration here from your Sony TVs with Oversee. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more great videos from Sony Custom Installation. Thanks everyone.